Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Infected. So last night or yesterday evening, we did finish up the row of plant beds in here. Mike has been watering them, I think. Well, he has it this morning. But this one's doing okay. It just needs a bit of water. Mike's going to have to step it up and get that done. Uh, because we are going to attempt to do a bit more work here as well cooked liver um goes bad in an hour and a half we can eat that a little bit later today i think Let's just check to see how we're doing we need some fruits and vegetables and that is the issue for us we don't have any um i also had to place this door here i don't know if it was in the last video or not but there was a bear that just strolled by and came over here and attacked us on our platform luckily we didn't die um but um you know i didn't love it so there's that but let's just see if we can take everything from that it shouldn't be too heavy today but you never know uh, bones and leather just goes right there and we have some mushrooms in there but it's not really the proper location for it and then we have it goes in there and we have a couple of things that's good okay so our backpack should be fairly clear i don't even remember what i was doing it's been a day or two or a week since i've recorded any videos but we do have some of you guys so i think what i need to do for just this moment is put these guys out i mean they're about to go out anyway we don't do we have clean water we do We just put you out and you as well and we did do a lot of working on these forges like a lot of work with the iron and things in the last episode or two that's why we have a bear up here guys because we did kill him um but he just you know he was just a big old mess it caused us a lot of grief as well we don't have anything over here we have water on us which is great we don't have a ton, but we do have some. We don't have any other crops anywhere else. Um, power is doing better. It's not great. We could potentially let this run today if we had the thing wired up. So we probably need to craft ourselves that advanced um, hammer this morning. Let's do that. Let's see what it requires first. Um, Itempedia. We need the upgrade tool, one stick, one iron ingot. Do you have an iron ingot? We don't. So let's just start the forge again. Luckily, it doesn't take much to start it. We have this handy dandy Zippo from day one, which is nice. Uh, come on. Let's put that little tiny bit of plant fiber in there as well. Well, since we're running it, we might as well get some use out of it. Come on. So let's just put all of these guys on there and let them work because we don't need the fragments as much as we need the iron ingots okay so what are we going to do today i do have a couple of things in mind one of them being working on this portion here we do have some logs placed in here but not a ton guys I would like to get started on some of this uh, for there we need planks we need a couple of you guys just there okay there's some stones in here that i want to grab as well because we need those also and since it's been a day or two since we've been in game um and we've reloaded the game as well a lot of the trees have grown back which is nice we need them what we also need is some planks out here. I'm going to have to grab a plank stand, fill up my backpack or something here, guys. Lots and lots of logs already placed here. That's lovely. Let's go grab some planks and we'll get some of these going. I want to be able to get up there as well because I would like to be able to place the um, garages at some point. What am I doing up here? I need planks and I need a plank stand full. Okay, 
I don't have a lot of planks. Not very good. Let's just get them going. Take a bunch of these guys with us. Hopefully we can fill up as much as we can. Uh, we we don't really, I don't really think we're going to need the plank stand full because um, we had enough room in our backpack for most of those. Let's just place these guys and keep going a bit. Let's see how we do with that. Um, we're getting along quite nice, actually. Let's just place the planks in here. I hear Mike chopping down trees next to me. Just fine. Okay, we are out of planks already. We need a log just there. And we've stopped just there. Okay. So with that, continue in here. Let's grab a stick and one of these guys and we're just going to place the rest of them um, back in here. Back in the crate. Okay. Place this, these stones on here. Come on. We can do this. So we need a stick. Let's grab one stick. Uh, there should be one up here somewhere. Just use the advanced workbench just to make sure that we can do that. We're going to have to get rid of something, and I don't have a storage for this thing yet. But maybe it'll just lay there on the ground for a bit. Okay. Um, was that not the recipe for that? One stick, one iron, iron ingot can be crafted on the workbench. Okay, you would think anything that could be crafted on the workbench would also be able to be crafted on the advanced workbench. Um, especially when you got to that point. Um, what am I looking for? I am looking for wires. Just to see if this thing will run at all today. Because if it does, you know, it would be lovely if it could. Okay, um... Probably won't run simply because we don't have a battery for it, uh, which is something that we desperately need. Okay. Um, so now what do we do? Did I take the wire from that? Because I really didn't intend to do that. If I did, that might have two or three wires going to it. Let's get rid of that. Let's put all these tools away. Let's turn on the stone grinder. Can I turn that on? Power available minus 50. So it's not going to run at all because we don't have enough power coming in. And we don't have enough batteries to, um, you know, have any power being stored. Okay, so that was a lovely try. But now that we know that, we need to work extra diligently on more power. So we need at least five of these guys. Um, let's see. Power. We need some wind turbines. What does it take for a battery? We don't have the tech for that. We're going to have to head out and grab that as well. Lead, aluminum, copper, and electrical parts. Not that big of a deal for us. Um, so what we could do in the next episode is head out and see if we can find some more tech pages. See if we can grab that. We do have a wind turbine up here that needs some stuff, uh, which means we need to take another extractor down to the caves so that we're able to, um, you know, get as many ores as we can down there. I also need to get a mineral extractor outside the base because we need iron. Um, so there's that, you know, there's lots and lots and lots to do. I've been able to just jump over this and get up here to this portion. I don't like being able to do that, uh, but it does work for now. Can I place some stairs? I need to ramp, though. Um, stairs, ramp, flat wooden ramp. Come on, like, why are you not going to work? 
Okay, like what's the issue here? So the half ramp is not going to work. Okay. What can I do with that? I don't think we can drive upstairs. Maybe what I might have to do is sort of trick the game. Can I lower this foundation, place a ramp, and then raise this foundation? Would it be too steep of an incline at that point? I don't know. Let's just continue crafting and building this. Mike was inside that foundation. Okay. So when we empty these guys out we can move them down a bit because this is a pretty good distance to run it will hurt our stamina usage quite a bit i'm just gonna drop these out for now and move this one down like halfway here and then we'll do the same thing for this one as well when we have it empty just empty them out just here and then move it while he's busy like over on this side would be lovely one on either side and that should keep it fairly even I do want to just grab this and have this road over to the base completed and then we'll try our best to figure out what we need to get done to um, make sure that we're able to get in there with the garage and all of that I don't really know what we're gonna have to craft for that but we'll figure it out we'll we'll always get it sorted hopefully just chopping down some trees because we can help Mike out in the Slightest, hopefully. Okay. So now that we've chopped down just a couple of trees, let's continue adding logs here. Let's get over to the other side and pick these guys up and add them as well. I'm going to have to place a few more foundations. I had no idea we'd get that far today. Very lovely, though, honestly. Very excited about getting some of this completed. had no idea how far we would make it. But that looks pretty good. I mean, we're like ha I'm over halfway to the road. That's lovely. Let's get rid of that. Get back down here and just keep adding these things guys because we need to did I miss that one i did and then we're gonna head back in and grab some more planks hopefully there are some that have been um, come on. struggling a bit here hopefully there's some that has been you know sawed up there going to place those in there for me so I'm not struggling so much. Very nice. Thanks for your help, Mike. Lovely. That's just the sheep, I think, running or the deer or something running. It's not a bear or anything running at me. Okay, let's just do that. And now we can let him continue adding Thanks to that, filling it up while we get, get in here and grab a few planks. Can't do it through the window. I'm going to have to move this thing, guys. I don't love the location of it at the moment. I much prefer it to be... I don't love this entire design right here. So I am going to be changing that hopefully pretty soon and including moving the stuff inside 
I think we need to move the saw bench inside in the work area. Okay, so what do we have? We have some bark chips we can place in here. We have some plant fiber as well. And we have a stone we can throw on there. And then we have some rope, or sorry, sorry some wiring that we can get rid of out of our inventory that we don't necessarily need on us. Um, very, very excited about getting some progress done on the path here to get out to the, you know, to the road. I need to get down there and just grab the truck as well. I don't exactly know if I remember what it requires to do that. Uh, I'm sure it's iron, steel, um, some things along that line. Okay, I need another... I need another plank stand. Or inside... Not plank stand, stand sorry. Um... I need another log stand for inside the base just so we can have more logs up there and we can fill up the saw bench completely because at the moment we're not getting a ton of planks uh, because this is empty by the time we get outside we really need it to keep going okay let's just get up here um, some of you did mention that you like this idea. It was just, I don't know, it was just something that sort of just kind of came to me. I wanted to get that enclosed a bit. I didn't, it was raining and I thought, well, if it's raining, we're going to get wet and then it's going to be cold in the winter. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe we should do something. And then that's kind of how that sort of took, um, took shape. So, yeah, there's that on down the line all the way down here lovely don't mind that don't mind that at all and then Mike's gonna come and help and that's lovely of him he's gonna fill it up again we need to see if we can find some pumpkins or some watermelon or something along those lines because we need some fruits and veggies so let's just run around the lake a bit and see if we can find anything out today any type of uh, plants that we can harvest would be beneficial for sure um there's a melon just here harvest that a watermelon would be nice as well let's just eat this melon Well, okay, let's do the liver first because we need that to help raise our health back to 100 after the last episode. If you missed that, you might want to check it out. Um, someone left the comment that they're glad that I posted that video uh, just to let them know that, you know, they're not the only one dying when facing the crocs. And I tend to die more often than not, guys, when we go up there. Seems like the last few um, seasons we've died up there. Um, in the beginning, it was fairly easy, I think, when it was the old map. But after it's been changed to this one, with the sun resistance and all that mess, I die quite often, honestly. More often than not. We can just grab a few of these sticks as well. We don't necessarily need the frogs as meat right now. I mean, they're not horrible to have, um, we, but we have a full crate of meat. And I think some of that's going to go bad before we actually eat it all. I'm not seeing any more like pumpkins or watermelons or anything like that. So what we're going to have to do is when we get the spare minute and opportunity, we're going to have to get inside the base and in the greenhouse and craft some more planks and some more plant beds and just get those guys going with um, like, can like vegetables potatoes, that kind of stuff, so that we can make those lovely cans that fill us up quite nice and help with our max stamina. Um, we're definitely going to have to work on that. We are going to work on that. We're not going to have to do it. We're definitely going to be doing it as well. But I didn't see anything else. So that one melon is going to have to sustain us for just a little while. So we head out and maybe find some pumpkins on the side of the road. 
Our sun resistance is a real issue at the moment. Okay, let's just put these guys in there. And let's continue over here with those guys. Lovely. I don't mind this. I don't mind it at all. I'm not even a bit concerned about it. Um, for whatever reason, I feel like it should work the way we want it. It's just a matter of getting that ramp block down there placed. Okay, just continue on out. No, I placed that one wrong. That one's wrong as well. So let's just see if we can get this one placed. And then delete you. And delete you as well. Because you guys are both turned the wrong way. And we do not like having those just any way and every way. Um, should I need to place... I might even have to place a ramp block out here. If I do, it's not that big of a deal. We'll make it work. a weed growing up through the pavement that's okay come on stone okay so mike has been doing his lovely work out here we need to get inside and get some lovely plants again and i'm sure he's been super super busy keeping everything topped up it wouldn't hurt to have all of these guys turned into males so that we can get down there and get some more plant beds going and we can get some more crops harvested. How are we doing here, guys? Um, food and drink looks okay. It's just sun resistance that's the issue. Just drink some more water. Make sure our hydration stays up. Grab the nails from here as well. And then let's get up here and try to get some more planks done. And get um, some more plant beds going as well if we possibly can. I really need some watermelons. I need some onions. I need some potatoes. I need all of those crops going. I need it all to be done. Unfortunately, it is not at the moment. But we're getting there. Um, everything cannot be completed in one day, and that's okay. We do need some planks for here and here as well. Um, actually, that just needs some logs. Uh, but we'll get there. Mike has been in here doing some work. It looks like he's harvested some cucumbers just there. So I wonder if he did eat those or if he placed them in here. Okay, so he does have a couple of things in here that he can eat. Um, we won't steal that. Hopefully he can get some more crops fairly quickly. So let's just see. Placeables. Food. Others. And others. So I want it the narrow way, but I want it close to the edge over here okay so that's a bit too close okay so I do have them placed in here guys they are not perfect but um, Mike doesn't really care so I'm just going to get these guys placed with the planks and the nails that we have. And hopefully we have enough nails and enough planks. I don't know that we're going to have enough planks or nails, sorry, but hopefully we do. We are 8, 12, we're 8 and 4. We're 12 shy of having enough. We need lots and lots of planks. So there's that. Fortunately, the planks um, are not as easily obtainable. Can I not grab that one? Yep, I can. Lovely. So let's just grab the planks from here. We'll try not to get overweight if possible. Um, seems like we're doing okay. They're not as heavy as I originally thought they would be. I really want to finish that path down now that you guys have approved it and you think it looks okay. Okay, so we need just 
enough planks for these guys. Let's go grab four potatoes, four onions, and two pumpkins as well. And then we're going to have to get some watermelon storage and pumpkin storage for my. Let's see, what do we have here? We need four onions, four potatoes, two pumpkins. We need three melon and three watermelon seeds as well. Okay, let's just get back down there. Let's take some more planks with us. I bet we're out of fuel. Let's try to grab some of that as well. We need more oil cans, guys. We're desperate for those. Oh, gonna have to go all the way up. And then around this way. Grab the planks, put some more fuel in here, get it going again. And now we can head back down to the greenhouse. Okay. Not a lot of um, planks. Do one melon here. Okay. Let's add a melon seed there. And then let's do potatoes and onions and pumpkins and all of that loveliness. Okay, let's do four potatoes, two pumpkins. Right in the center here. Do onion sprout snail. And then we've already planted one melon. We need to get more planks so that we can plant all of them as well as the watermelons. I think we're doing pretty good today, guys. We've gotten a lot of do work done on the base. We've gotten a lot of work done around the base, such as, you know, filling up the plant beds. That's very important to do. So let's put the crops back in here that we don't need the onions the potatoes uh, we could drop some sticks off over here as well we don't necessarily need um, those on us we don't necessarily need sticks for arrows either at the moment so let's just fill that up and uh, we only need 12 more nails but we don't have enough for 12 okay well let's get you going again Get upstairs and get some more planks and then we're gonna get back into the greenhouse mike must be busy doing other work which is fine he's probably working in the greenhouse there's lots to do in there okay so let's just put you guys over here and get these melons going add melon seed add melon seed and over here, we don't have enough for that. It's okay. Let's get back out here and help Mike chop down some more trees. Because it's useful. And we can always use the bark chips, the plant fiber as fuel for the forge. So that's not a big deal either. might still be hungry i know he's just wandering around and there's lots of work to be done so i don't know what his issue is he may need to be kind of recalled to his bed um so that he can you know keep working on stuff Put you in there Put you in there take you guys place you back in there all of these guys going really shouldn't have turned that off earlier but it's okay we're managing there's no logs up here and mike is just walking around maybe he needs some food take some of this meat that's about to go bad down to mike i think four pieces should be okay he might still be hungry and that's why he's not working let's just put it 
get in here? See if he comes over to get food. He did. So maybe he has to be like half full, 50% full, before he'll get out and do some more work for us. Let's just see if he... Okay, Mike, you're at 100%. Why did, why did you eat an extra one? You wasted food, kind sir, and that's hard to come by at the moment. We need more food. Okay, let's just close that. So Mike will probably, you know, head out and chop some more logs and things like that. Get some more trees. Let's just destroy that because I don't have a place for it at the moment. And I don't want to leave that upgrade hammer just hanging out outside. Okay, so what we could do then, since we don't want to leave that, but it does require nails and I'm super, super reliant on the nails that we have get the greenhouse done and to get more of that um, done down on the path I don't need the nails though I just need the planks down there okay so we need nails we need 12 nails let's just grab this stuff from here keep using these stones and if Mike, for chance, does not fill this up right away, that's okay. Not that big of a deal. We'll not hold it against him. We'll wait on him and be patient. These two guys turned it into nails. And I'm going to drop off some things over here. And the oil, because I don't want to die with that on me. In the event it were to despawn or something. Okay, so we should be okay now. He went there. He went there. Okay, let's get back down there and try to get the rest of these plant beds done. I don't know how many planks we need down there, but if we have extra, we can always use them on the stairway cover here. I did the stairway cover because I want to cover this as well, but I want to cover this with glass just because it's a fishing dock. Um, I feel like I don't really want it to be covered with anything that would hinder the view down here. So let's go ahead and do the watermelons next, get them placed, get them planted in here. And Mike will hopefully work on this quite a bit. Yeah, he's definitely got his work cut out for him. Um, these guys are still growing. Um, I think it says harvest on them if you can harvest them. Um, so everything is growing at the moment. Mike will uh, put in the work down here, like through the night when we're just, you know, doing base stuff. I'm going to grab this melon because we need that, of course. I'm going to eat you. And that will help move our vitamins and our fruits and vegetables up a bit. Grab you. And if we have extra planks on us, like I mentioned, guys, it's not that big of a deal. We need them anyway. We only had four extra. Not that big of a deal at all. Okay. Close that. Get that done. And then over here, let's do the same thing as well. Let's just add logs there if we need to. Mike is just so useful. He really is when it comes to base work and building because he is just the handiest guy ever. I think we're going to be okay. We might even go one wider than this. You know, just three wide. But I think it'll be fine. I really do. I am loving it. We might do a little bit of something different just over here. Not totally sold on that yet, guys, so I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do just yet. But, um, we could potentially come out of the base over there. Like, um, we could come out with a foundation just out here and have those curved stairs on it to potentially get us up here. I don't know that... 
Well, maybe we could use like the foundation stairs to get up here. Maybe that would help. I don't know. But I think lowering this by one and placing the ramp block here would help with the issue that we're having at the moment. But I'm not quite sure that it won't be too steep. But anyway, we'll do that off camera. I'll mess around with that off camera to see what I need to do to get that placed. Okay, um, what do we need here? Some planks and some logs. Seems to be the running theme of the day, planks and logs it is. But tomorrow or in the next episode, guys, we'll try to head out and get um, another book so that we're able to get some more work done on the base, like the batteries and all that, because we need those. Okay, so we have that. That is completed. These poles down here, these pillars, are going to be used to help hold up the ceiling down here. We might even extend them out to the edge, which would make sense because, you know, they just would. And I think that would be okay. And then over here on these steps, we can do those things again over here if we wanted to or we could just leave it open because the greenhouse does need to be open in order to grow um i don't see anything else going on right now so we do have a bit of planks and we also have a bit of nails can we potentially craft a storage for watermelons um, stone crate we need 12 nails and 12 planks. We cannot do that right at the moment, but we will work on it. So let's just place that melon crate just here. And these guys, we can move them anytime. But I want them in here because I'm going to place a workbench in here as well. And if you have followed any of my other series, then you know that that is something that we often do in here. Is we'll place a workbench in here or a food prep table or both. Just so we can, um, you know, do that in here where all the crops are. It just makes sense to me to do that. Where the crops are commonly placed. Do that and another one just here. But um, we might have to redo these. We might have to rearrange them a bit. Just so we can get to at least to that back one. So we might place two in, or leave two in here and then bring two in the base just to have them in there. Um, but that stops the decay or the timer on the pumpkins and watermelons. Placing them in this type of storage does rather than just having them in a crate. If you didn't know that already. So the pumpkin storage, the watermelon storage is a must if you're going to plant those in the greenhouse. And have Mike do any type of harvesting of those. So you are good. Okay. Let's just grab the rest of these logs and then we'll move this log stand down a bit as well. And then let's place this down here next to the road. And then we'll place all of those in there that we can. Okay, there's some stones just here. Let's grab those. Okay, you're good. Let's place you. And you as well. One more, and then let's move this one down as well near the road. And that'll be lovely. And this is basically what I've been doing prepping for this um let's just get down here on the spikes and then we'll take care of these guys as well i guess we've had some light value and noise issues down here let's just harvest you and you as well Take those dead bodies and harvest them for bandages. Lovely. Not complaining. So, did we get electrical parts from those guys as well? Potentially. Definitely not complaining about that. So let's just 
place even here. And then let's continue with the forge as well. Probably should have both of these going at the same time. We don't currently. So I probably should do that just to make sure that Mike is getting the most from whatever he can as far as the stones are concerned. Get you started. Place the sticks and the plant fiber in there. Free fuel, pretty much. We don't have to use any of the coal that we did get out of the cave. So that's nice. Uh, let's just put these few nails in here. If we don't need them. Right this minute, anyway. Okay, not loving how this crate is working out. We do need to start with more nails and planks, guys, so that we can start grabbing some of the, um, the storage racks instead of having these crates everywhere. Okay. Lovely. Let's just do this and get all of these planks. And we're going to head back out. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're going to head back out over here and get some more of this done, hopefully. I don't think we'll finish it today. Okay, that was lovely. Yeah, it's already getting, like, it's already 9 p.m. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this one here. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes, and I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.